<clears throat> What's up everybody, Frankie Blackbird here coming at you once again with another video. In this video we're going to do something like trash can nachos. So it's going to start off with some nacho chips, some leftover taco meat, some of the refried beans that we had. You could either pick the, the cheese sauce or regular uh, cheese, some leftover pico that we had, some leftover guacamole, some leftover chopped onions, and some black olives. All we're going to do is chop the olives up and then just layer everything on top. Alright guys, back at it. What I did do is I did find some chato beans, the ones that we have from the leftover video. So I went ahead and you can strain some of them and I put them in here. What I did here is I made a half a layer first. So I took out half the nachos, made a light layer of everything that we're going to put except for the guacamole. See right there? So... Every, almost every single chip should have some something in it Slice your olives mix them in real lightly and I'm gonna add the second layer and I'll be back All right guys, this is the semi semi finished product right here um, The only thing we really have to do now is put it in a oven just to melt the cheese and heat everything through. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be back. All right guys, this is the finished product right there. Take a look at that. Beautiful. All right guys, here we are at the end. These are the cheat code nachos, you know, they basically have everything that we've already made, so you don't have to really make anything because everything was already made from the previous videos. But if you do make it, the only thing you would have to make that will take a while would be the ground beef and the chato beans if you make the chato beans from scratch. But like chato beans, you could just cook them and then throw them in the freezer and baggies and use them when you need them. But this is it right here, though. Be careful when they come out of the oven, they are hot. Look at that right there, man. And let me tell you something, guys. If you show up, show up on game day with these. I swear to you, man. I, they'll be talking about you for a while. If you're trying to break some sort of social anxiety and stuff like that, show and you, um, your friends have a little get-together, show up with food, man. Show up with these nachos or show up with the pico and the guacamole with a bag of chips. People will remember you. I guarantee it, man. Every time I go to my friend's house, they're always telling me where the food that that I bring anything today or whatnot, you know. So with that, guys, I got a couple more videos that I need to make, and they're going to be the same, the same stuff. Using the ground beef and the refried beans and stuff like and cheese. And it, it man, the, the stuff that I got to cook for y'all, it's easy, man. Cooking's not that hard. So with that being said, like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want me to cook for y'all. Um, and I'll see if I can figure out a cheat code for it. These nachos right here, straight up, that only took me like five minutes because we had everything already. The only thing you would have to do is warm everything before, such as your beans and your ground beef. Add it together. And then throw it in the oven and let it come to temp or let the cheese melt. Alright guys, this is Frankie Blackbird. I'm out of here.